name is Kelly Serbin, and I'm the director of marketing at Pandium, and I'm also the co-founder of the SaaS Ecosystem Alliance, which is putting on this event today. If you're not already a member, please check us out. We are an interdisciplinary group for people who are building tech partnerships in SaaS. We're really excited um, for what we have to show you today. Really, one of the reasons we wanted to put this together is because partner technology that is ecosystem first is really um, very quickly evolving. There's a lot of new companies um, cropping up. I'm sure you guys are mostly familiar with Jay McBain and his channel technology infograph. You can see all the new companies, but even the names that you have heard, functionality, product integrations, these are being added very quickly. So if you've checked out a vendor, say six months ago, the functionality that existed then, there's probably new features, new integrations. And really all the vendors that we're gonna to showcase to you today are helping to solve this core problem that you can see in this graph right here, which is that partnerships are really in this unique situation where they need to collaborate with a number of internal and external stakeholders. So when you're on a partnership teams, you really need not only your partner, the other partner teams to collaborate with you, but your sales team, their sales team, your marketing team, their marketing team, your CS team, your product team, your integrations. Now, everybody doesn't need to be working together um, on a day-to-day -day basis, but if data isn't moving from these different business functions to people when and where they need it, then you're gonna have missed opportunities. So a lot of organizations are still working on Google Sheets. They're onboarding partners through Google Forms. They're not integrating their partner portals with their CRM, so they're just sending data back and forth. And a lot of partner influence is not being tracked. That impact that partnerships can have on retention and upsells is not being tracked. And so what you see is you don't get the partner engagement that you could be getting because partners don't realize the business impact you're having and your leadership is not realizing the impact that you're having. So these products that we're gonna show you today, they can really help you to surface those analytics and that impact that you can share with your partners, which will lead to more partner engagement, and you can share with your organization and your leadership, which leads to more investment in your partner program. So I think, you know, the tools we're going to show, they're all really exciting in different ways, and they can really help you to get that ideal workflow going and making sure that you are fully leveraging your ecosystem and that you're also able to show that you're doing that to both internal and external stakeholders. So without further ado, we are going to um, launch right in and our first vendor is WorkSpan and that's a really cool ecosystem management platform. So I will turn it over to you. Hey, thanks Kelly. Uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yeah, uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, folks, this is Amit here, co-founder and chief customer officer here at WorkSpan. Uh, we are literally the first ecosystem management platform uh, created out on 2014. Saw this years uh, ahead uh, and uh, created a network. So just as LinkedIn is a network, WorkSpan is a network of companies where we connect people with their own single sign-on security onto WorkSpan uh, so that they can collaborate with any partner. You connect once, you work with anybody else. And we connect not only CRM such as Salesforce, uh, Dynamics and others, but also leading clouds. For example, we are connected directly into Microsoft Partner Center, AWS ACE, and very soon Google Cloud Platform as well. So Google Marketplace as well. So that's the network. And uh, this is really, as you guys know, burst open in the seams. We are not just talking about channels, but also alliances, product, tech partnerships, cloud hyperscaler partnerships, where companies can actually work with one another in true collaboration as co-equal peers, not like a company that is has a vendor and a channel relationship. So one a demo we are going to show you quick today is uh, how can how can we bring co-sell as a business process to a seller, not just between partner managers, but to a seller inside their own CRM system. So in this case, uh, Cisco, I will be logging in as uh, as uh, Vishal at Cisco. He has his own Salesforce system. He's an account executive there. He's going to sell and send an opportunity using WorkSpan to a partner. Partner will receive it in their own Salesforce, all coordinated through WorkSpan. So without further ado, let's just look at the demo. 
So this is my, uh, this is the Salesforce app, by the way, you download from App Exchange and you plug it in. It's basically a, a day's worth of, uh, ex, you know, uh, uh, work to map the fields. But what it does, it doesn't change any opportunity records. All you have to do is log into your standard opportunity record here, which you see. And a new tab called Coastal Referrals is added by Workspan. You say add referral and you pick the partner. You can send it to AWS Ace. Uh, you can send it to Microsoft. You can send it to, let's say I choose this partner called Tractic. I create a referral. And I put in a note here that I need help with line of business buyers. Typically companies want to co-sell because they want to get additional line of business influence into their deal. Uh, Cisco being an infrastructure player, they likely need an ISV to tap into an additional buying center. So send the demo there. Uh, sorry, send the opportunity there. And uh, this is now outgoing and, and pending, uh, you know, uh, acceptance from the partner. So the salesperson did not have to leave their experience in Salesforce doing this thing. Now, what will happen here is Workspan is the glue in the middle. So I'm logged in here uh, back as, uh, as uh, the partner manager persona now. And between Cisco and TrackTech on Workspan, there will be a partner plan. And as you know, Workspan helps with co-sell, co-build, co-market. In this demo, we have just shown you the co-sell piece. You could also do co-solution and co-marketing activities. In that case, new tabs open up helping you do additional aspects of the journey that you may do. But let's uh, focus on this one as an example here. So, um, uh, you know, I just sent this opportunity across uh, from, uh, uh, from my own Salesforce system uh, to the system here. Uh, so all these opportunities come in here um, that I'm collaborating with. And through this, uh, uh, you know, uh, setup, uh, I can now send it forward to TrackTech CR, uh, CRM as well. So as you can see, this becomes my joint book of business with my partner. All my co-sell metrics are here in place. All my collaboration on deals are here. And uh, as you can imagine, um, running a co-sell experience, you having a joint book of business is very important. So just as I could push from my CRM, I could also pull. So I can do add from my CRM. For example, and this does an inbound integration into CRM and I can pick specific deals. And by the way, this is uh, secured. So only deals that I should have access to, I can pull from my CRM. So you saw the push from Salesforce, but also pull as an account executive. When I pushed this, this, this opportunity, uh, this has gone in now. Now, the other aspect of uh, COSEL is that you, you may be doing deal collaboration with one another. And uh, you know you can open any deal, drive deal notes, uh, things like that, that happens in a collaborative setup. All those uh, things such as bi-directional comments, it's like a modern collaboration system. You can say next step is X, Y, or Z, you know, you can, uh, and this goes in real time to the other side to drive the collaboration on that specific deal. The other beautiful thing is that you may not be just uh, partnering with one company, you may be partnering with more, so you can build reports, uh, not just for yourself, but also for your entire partnership framework with other partners. I just wanna show you one report in real time as an example. So you can see that this report with TrackTech, it can show incoming, outgoing, the forecast value. So oftentimes folks struggle with uh, you know, uh, business review meetings or quarterly meetings, uh, and there's a fire drill to collect this kind of data. Uh, what Workspan does is combines real-time insights from both company systems in one place so that you can report not only on your fields, uh, but also on the partner's fields. And in fact, coincidentally, this AAA opportunity that I just sent um, has been uh, received here uh, in, in, the, in the environment, and you can see uh, you can directly click from the uh, from the this place here and open the deal and start collaborating. It will also appear in my plan. Now the key thing with the plan is uh, is uh, is as as companies are working through the plan, they they hold each other accountable uh, on this this message. Now the next piece here is it would be amazing if uh, if if I as uh, I as TrackTech can receive this opportunity. You can see that uh, this is a different salesforce.com system. Using Workspan as the middle glue, um, AAA opportunity has been received here. And you can see the timestamp 1109, 10, 11.09, this was sent across. Uh, I can choose to accept it. So in this case, I can, uh, I can 
choose an existing opportunity. Maybe my team is already pursuing it, so I can map it to an existing opportunity, or I can uh, create a new one. And let's say I accept and create a new one. I'm going to show you how Workspan has thought through uh, existing account mapping as well. So you can see that this AAA opportunity that has just come in, I can map it to my existing account, or I can create a net new account. Of course, my CRM will enforce some validations, like what is the close date from my side, what is my sales stage, and things like that, and then I can save it. So folks, this is truly bidirectional in the sense that it can receive an inbound request and it creates a net new opportunity. But also, let's imagine I have my own CRM and I want to send this further or collaborate on this further in addition to Cisco. Let's imagine this is a partner to partner opportunity. I can also pick this one, send this to Amazon. And in this case, AWS ACE, which is their COSAL platform, a specific fields that AWS requires those fields are enforced. Uh, and when I save it, it will directly log this deal into AWS's system. So that's the end to end of the WorkSpan demo. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. We look forward to being in the ecosystem community and powering your uh, co-sell motion. And just remember, it's not just one plan with one partner. You can have many such plans with many such partner run holistic programs and plans. And it's not just opportunity collaboration. You can do co-solutioning co with them. You can co-market, you can do joint account planning uh, and have joint account plans nominated and pursue them together. So this is holistically with people's and their names and faces up together, uh, collaborating as if they were one company. So uh, that's, that's what it's um, I'm Scott Shepard, the director of sales at Pronto. And um, sounds like we're gonna see a lot of great partnership tools today, but. As Kelly said, I think the one thing that remains constant for partnership folks is, you know, you live in spreadsheets. A lot of the work you do is manual and your life can be a little bit chaotic. So uh, at Pronto, which I'm going to demo today, you know, brings a little bit of order to that chaos. We are an ecosystem management platform that allows you and your partners to collaborate and manage the work you do together across that full life cycle. So um, we'll start here with kind of the Pronto login page. Pronto is fully configurable from end to end. That includes, you know, kind of incorporating your own brand and feel and login. So as we wait for it to log in, we'll start with kind of where the every partner journey begins, which is partner onboarding. So within Pronto, you can actually build distinct configurable partner applications that you can then embed on your website. So your partner visits your website, they fill in all the information that you've requested from them. And when they submit that application, it actually flows directly into your Pronto instance. And a member of your team can actually easily review, approve that application. Now, in addition to the information that we give you uh, that the partner has submitted, we also augment that with some third-party data to make this process incredibly seamless so that your partner managers never have to leave platform and go poking around to understand if a uh, company would be a good partner to you. So once you're ready to uh, approve a partner applicant, it's as easy as clicking that approve button. And then that new partner shows up here in your ecosystem dashboard as a partner relationship card. Now, once you've done that, your partner, your new partner actually gets an invitation triggered to them to join Pronto. They get their own Pronto tenant for the purposes of collaborating with you and doing all that work together. Now, I'll jump in here momentarily to one of these relationship cards to show you all the work that you can do with your partners. But one thing I did want to call out is that uh, Pronto is set up such that it doesn't matter the type of relationship you're working with. You can work with you know, your MSP partners, strategic alliances, tech partners, and everything in between. It's completely configurable to help manage the needs of those specific relationships. And moreover, in Pronto, you can manage one-to-many relationships. So it need not be one-to-one. -one. It can be you plus a reseller, plus a DISTI, plus a tech partner, whatever, whatever your needs of the hour are. So let's jump in here and see what the uh, Pronto has to offer for you and a partner. So uh, this is me logged in with Dunder Mifflin and one of their cloud partners. Uh, you'll see on the left-hand side here, we have in this sub navigation set of tabs. Uh, these are all the different modules that you and a partner can use to collaborate, to work together, to help bring you out of the spread spreadsheets and bring some structure to that chaos. So we'll jump into just a few of them today because you know we are limited on time, but I think the first one that's helpful to look at is tasks. We have an automated task engine in Pronto that allows you and your partners to collaborate on all the tasks you have to do uh, across all of the different modules within Pronto and send email notifications 
to remind you to do those things. In our customers module, you and your partners can actually align on joint accounts or pursuits to make sure that you're on track and to track the opportunities uh, that you're working together. Within the planning module, you and your partner can build your plans for the year or for the quarter and actually automatically track uh, your progress against those plans. In solutions, to the extent you have tech partners or solution partners who you build integrations or solutions with, you can actually manage the build of those solutions and then also track their success in the market here in our solutions tab. In our marketing module, you and your partners can actually build and launch marketing campaigns, track the leads derived therefrom, and also share leads, do lead pass, and collaborate on different leads. And this is also, you know, syncs back to your CRM, whether it's Salesforce, HubSpot, Zoho, or some other data source. Pronto is completely bi-directional or has bi-directional sync rather with the leading CRM systems as well as other leading business information systems that you might use. The sales module, um, you know, as a sales guy, I think this is certainly the most important but this actually allows you to manage all of the different sales opportunities you have with your partners. Now, your partners can actually manually register opportunities directly into Pronto, or you and your partners can both take advantage of that bi-directional sync with those leading uh, CRM providers and actually automatically have new sales opportunities flow into Pronto so that you can collaborate on them, kind of add that strategic value, and then all the work you're doing together in Pronto, push that back to your relative CRM systems to make sure that your sales folks have all of that context on the work that you and the partners have been doing. Now, all of the work that you're doing here within you know, the, part, the context of the partner relationship filters up to automatic partner level dashboards. These are essentially the scorecards uh, for the health of the partner relationship and they're provided real time so that Upon logging into Pronto, you and your partners always know where the relationship stands and how you're performing, and you don't have to wait for your monthly or quarterly QBRs to collate reports to kind of come together and determine, you know, if you're on track. And finally, if you are a, uh, an executive in the partnership space and you're interested in kind of tracking uh, trends across the entire ecosystem, as opposed to just at the partnership level, we give you an ecosystem dashboard, which allows you to get the 10,000 foot view into what's happening and what's working across your, your entire ecosystem of partners. And you know, if you wanna double click into marketing and sales, we certainly give you the ability to do that as well. So I know I've gone through all of this very, very quickly. I wanted to try to keep it to, to the five minute mark, but um, you know, I think in conclusion, Pronto is an ecosystem management platform. Our aim is to bring you out of the spreadsheets, help you control, control that chaos, bring some rigor to uh, kind of the partnership space. And if you're interested in learning more, would love to, to chat with you and double click in on any of these features that we've showed today. Thanks. Awesome. Um, and I am Gun Chang. I'm an SE with Tackle.io. And I'm here to talk about the um, Tackle Marketplace Cloud Platform. Now, we've already heard about co-selling, stronger partnerships with some of these cloud providers. And a big piece of that more and more that we're finding is that they want you to have a transactable marketplace listing in order to be part of that larger ecosystem. Now, in order to get a marketplace listing up, there are you know, quite a few decisions you need to make on your listing, how you price that affect how you can sell in the future. But in addition to that, each listing in each marketplace takes about three to four months of engineering effort in order to get this stood up and allow you to take deals through the marketplace. Um, something that Tackle does for you is we're a SaaS platform and we're actually that integration into the marketplace on your behalf. So you don't have to take that three to four months of engineering effort to get into the marketplace. All that we need from you is lease privilege access permissions. And it's all wizard driven where you just click a few buttons, it launch a launches a couple scripts and gives us all the permission we need so that we can get you a transactable listing up and quickly. Uh, now, the second piece of getting this listing up right is getting that listing up with the listing content. And that's where you'll actually work with a human on our end. Uh, you'll get a marketplace architect who's going to walk you through some of these decisions. Uh, we'll meet with your marketing team to make sure, right, your product overview looks good. But this is also where we nail down your pricing to make sure, right, uh, you want to be a good partner to these major cloud providers. And we want to make sure when they have these co-sell opportunities, you're able to push these deals the way through that your customer wants them pushed through too. Now, we all live in a new world today. A lot of us work remote. A lot of us are working off hours doing different things. So 
With that in mind, if, if your schedule just doesn't align with our marketplace architect, we've actually built quite a few of our best practices into our platform itself. And we also recently launched um, our own LMS system. So again, if you don't have time to meet three, four hours a week with our folks, uh, but you wanna take a deeper dive, you can just hop into our LMS to see what's going on and get some education about how to work in these cloud uh, major hyperscaler marketplaces. Uh, another thing that our platform does for you is we offer you a registration page that your customers hit when they're transacting with you in the marketplace. Um, this may sound like a simple feature, but the reason we have this is if you integrate with the major cloud providers directly to their marketplaces, natively, their daily business reports in Red Hat, GCP, AWS, and Azure, all of the marketplaces we support today, it's a two-day business delay for their daily business report to identify who your buyer is for you. So we've actually built an automated notification system that lets your customer register who they are as they're purchasing so that we can send you in real time what we call a virtual purchase order. This will allow you to use the same go-to-market, the same sales strategies that you have with your direct deal customers, again, allowing you to launch into the cloud provider marketplaces in three to four weeks instead of the three to four months, which is about the average that we see other folks hitting. Um, once you are launched into the marketplace, uh, a lot of the revenue that we see are through custom deals or what all the marketplaces call private offers. Uh, something that we've seen with private offers, though, is that they essentially give you a URL that you email to your customer and you lose visibility on where they're at. Um, when customers are transacting in these marketplaces, uh, they may not know exactly what they're doing. You may be new to the major marketplaces as well as your customer, so this may be the first deal that they accept. So we give you somewhere to not only keep a track of a status of where your buyers are with all your offers, have you just created the offer? Have they viewed the offer? Have they opened it? But the way that we track the status here is by sending them an email that's going to have distinct instructions on how to accept the deal in each marketplace. Uh, the, the marketplaces are new. The cloud providers are always changing how things work at a request of the buyers and sellers. But this means that your game plan on how to have your buyer accept the deal quickly gets out of date. So we tell them what button to push uh, we even have uh, documents that are linked to your customer's uh, cloud admin so that they, they can create a user that has the correct permissions to actually accept the deal. Uh, the majority of our tickets are actually helping our customers' customers accept these private offers where most of the revenue is that we see in these major cloud provider marketplaces. Uh, another place where you, you alleviate friction is in the reporting. Uh, the reporting in these marketplaces is typically going to be given to you two ways in CSV API or both. And those CSVs are usually going to be daily or on a monthly cadence where you go and download them and ETL them all together uh, on your own. So we actually aggregate all of that reporting data on your behalf. And we also provide a single pane, just like your private offers into all of the marketplaces to see where all your deals are at, uh, even down to, you know, not the craziest technology, right? But a simple metadata search when you're looking for your deals uh, that allows your sellers uh, your team to be able to recognize revenue much quickly, along with those order notifications that we're sending you. Uh, one last thing that I want to show you real quickly is that we also have a platform uh, within our product that allows you to send usage-based, um, you know, uh, billing to your customers. Uh, and uh, sorry, I'm rushing here, Brett, but this typically requires another API integration that needs to be automated. Uh, we built this GUI system to allow you to make human decisions. Uh, maybe this is a deal with um, a very large corporation and you don't want to ding them for overages because you, you know renewals are coming up soon. So we allow you to make a human decision on this. Um, thank you for the time. And if you're interested in learning more about the major cloud provider marketplaces and why people are transacting there or to request the demo, uh, I'll share this URL in the chat here. Thank you for the time. My name is Christina Flashen and I am the CEO and co-founder here at Pandium. Uh, today, I'm excited to introduce you to our integration marketplace as a service platform and share how you can have your own app marketplace experience in days instead of months or potentially years or maybe never, uh, and how we'll help you win more deals and make more money through your technology partnerships. First, let's look at our flagship experience, uh, the experience that we power for your customers. So what you see here is our integration marketplace, which functions as a catalog for all of the apps that you want to share with your customers, whether those are built by you, built by a partner and submitted, or potentially not built at all. 
It's a place for your customers also to learn more about these solutions. And if you choose to allow them to natively install the app directly from this experience. This is totally drop in and out of the box. Um, everything that you see on the screen here in terms of fonts, logos, content, copy, categories uh, is all customizable through a UI on our admin side. So you don't need to have an engineer involved when this needs to be updated. Once your users find an app that they wanna install, they can do so using our integration infrastructure. So what we're looking at here is my integrations between Gray Wizard Tech and QuickBooks Online. <clears throat> We handle the authentication, packaging and running of the app and showing your customers configuration options that are relevant to them. So when we click here, these are the configuration options that were specified for this specific integration to QuickBooks. Um, the options here are very, very flexible. You can basically propose anything that the QuickBooks API and your API can handle. By allowing your customers to install this directly from this experience, they don't have to leave your application, they don't have to purchase a new tool, and they don't have to learn a new piece of middleware. Uh, once your customers have all of their apps installed, we handle all of the, uh, making sure all the authentication is up to date, um, ensuring that all of your apps are running, showing you logs, um, and making sure that we have two nines uptime, whether you guys have five customers or 5,000, one app or dozens. So in addition to the marketplace experience, we also have an admin side where every member of your team can build, monitor, support, and report on app usage. So if we just dive in here to our admin side and I click on details, as a user, I'm able to see, again, those logs, so what's happening with this integration, all the customers that have it installed, and then as a marketer, I'm able to come in and set up all of that content. Again, all updated in real time and respecting the theming that you had previously specified. In addition, your customer support team also has the place to go if a customer calls and says, hey, I was expecting uh, this integration to function in a certain way. I don't see my invoice. Um, they can come navigate directly to that experience, um, check the logs and hopefully troubleshoot without having to bother your engineering team or reach out to your partners um, and also without having to learn a new tool. In addition to enabling you to build apps more rapidly and publish them in your app store, uh, we also have a partner workflow where you can invite your partners to submit either content or content and apps for publication in your app store. Uh, we have workflows that enable you to obviously approve and publish uh, or to reject an app and send it back with comments uh, to your partner so they can make changes and everything is unified in one experience so you have complete visibility into installs um, and usage patterns as well as your partner. All of this together enables, enables you to build more apps with roughly 70% less engineering overhead and every feature that we build is to make you more money with your technology ecosystem at scale. Finally, in that line, our pricing is simple and predictable and varies only based on the number of active installations running in a month. So we don't care about data throughput, API calls, workflows, or anything else. We succeed when you succeed. We've leveraged our work with hundreds of companies to create a solution hyper-focused on helping companies like you grow your ecosystem and make more money. And we'd love to help you do it too. If you're interested in learning more, please visit our website at pandium.com and request a demo. Thanks, everybody. Good afternoon. This is Drew Lincoln over here at Partnered. So setting the stage of where Partnered really lives in the aspect of, uh, you know, from partner teams to sales teams and uh, having a tool that you can manage that flow, but also giving those insights to the salespeople as the partner team can kind of uh, play air traffic control in between all those things. So uh, with Partnered, what we do is really focusing on what we call account-based networking, ABN. What that means is partner sourced or influence deals. So we're built for salespeople and partner managers. So sales and partner teams kind of working together uh, on that framework. So there we go. So um, this is partnered. Uh, I'm not sure how much you saw of it, but uh, basically there's there's three tabs to, to kind of focus on. My network, Navigator, and messaging. And this is kind of step one, step two, and then step three. This is the workflow of Navigator and messaging. But step one is where you start building your, your partnership ecosystem. So um, under the assumption that you might be using Crossbeam already, we're actually partners with Crossbeam. We have a Crossbeam integration launching soon. Uh, but this is, this is where you would just start integrating and basically log in to your Crossbeam account. Um, it's not live currently, but we're in beta right now. And you would just invite your partners right here. Um, if you wanted to manually start inviting partners, you could do that as well uh, using your own kind of customized partnership link. Or if you wanted to 
start typing in and you know actually find a maybe a such a studio or someone like that you could start uh, creating your partnership network there you could also import your partner so a lot of different ways uh, but but the, the the reality is it's connected through your CRM as well as being pulled from other data from a, your account mapping tools whether it's a CSV or most likely uh, like a crossbeam so those two areas uh, I log in through my Salesforce account in this we also uh, are, are for HubSpot uh, as well. So once you've built that, you then can basically go to the Partner Deal Navigator page. So what this is, is what we're, what we're seeing right here is actually our own personal CRM, my, my personal CRM seeing, uh, so welcome, um, to uh, all of these different opportunities and accounts that I am currently working um, and what overlap in a case-based networking overlap there might be with, cross, with, uh, with my other partners. Actually, Crossbeam is one of them. So um, it really where Crossbeam comes into play or any kind of account mapping tool is great, uh, but where they you know, take it to step one, partner really comes step two, three, four in creating uh, insights for salespeople, but also a place for partner managers to know what opportunities they might have with other partners, right? So if I'm looking at this, I see different uh, opportunities like Okta, Procore, Demandbase. These are opportunities that I'm currently working that my partners are also currently working. So high level, I might be able to want to filter a few things, recently won, recent activity, uh, whatever it might be. Let's say shopping gives is an opportunity I might be coming here to. Um, let's look at shopping gives. So high level shopping gives again is an opportunity that I as a salesperson am currently working. And then right off the bat, I can see two different partners that are currently working shopping gives in some capacity, whether it's a customer, whether it's a, a, an open working opportunity or it's a cold prospect. So I can see partner portal, partner of ours that we've connected with on partnered here is a partner of ours. Eddie, uh, he's a CEO, looks like spoke to somebody at Shopping Gives uh, 18 hours ago. Great, that, that's Josh also probably part of that same conversation. Recently won, great. Crossbeam, another partner of ours. John looks like he spoke to someone at Shopping Gives about four weeks ago. Great, let's actually find out who at Shopping Gives they, re they really spoke to. Right? So these are contacts that are on my partner's opportunities um, that are, we're both working at the same time. Again, whether it's a customer or, or a prospect or, or whatever it might be. So Ben, looks like Ben might be the one to talk to. Great, I can actually go further into that contact and see who within my partner ecosystem Ben has spoken to. So Eddie, kind of we saw that earlier before. Um, and this is where I would, as a salesperson, salesperson initiate a request. So I wanna start talking to Eddie about shopping gifts. So I wanna reach out to the partner uh, about a certain opportunity, right? So I can actually message uh, Eddie, I've actually already done this in this instance, but I can start a conversation right off the bat. Um, hopefully that, you know, typically with a demo, we can kind of pause there, but um, that's that workflow initially. Um, after that, it, it goes into the messaging aspect. Uh, and these are requests. These are requests from salespeople. Sometimes salespeople or even partner managers can create these requests going forward, um, but they can see requested in progress, different stages as to where these conversations are um, and, and you know where they are in terms of uh, going to the finish line. So a lot of information that can be pushed back to your CRM, whether it's obviously setting an attribution or getting uh, what kind of outcome came out of this conversation, automatically partner managers are uh, alerted and part of this conversation. Uh, again, they kind of play air traffic control and admin uh, around uh, all, all of what is going on between these requests. So this conversation is actually between myself, in this instance, the sales account executive, my partner manager, Adam, as well as Eddie, the sales uh, AE in this instance, and then uh, their partner manager. Uh, Eddie's actually one in the same in both of these conversations. So um, all this information is then pushed back. Um, again, there's a proprietary, uh, proprietary information that Adam might have mentioned about a lot of the security around the data that is shared things like deal size uh, and specifics of products that you might sell are obviously not shared, but you do have, uh, you do have the ability to share uh, data on a par partner by partner basis, and it's completely opt-in on that front. So um, overall messaging, all of this can be pushed to your CRM. We also have a Slack integration, and most importantly for salespeople, we also have a Chrome extension for both LinkedIn and Salesforce. So any uh, insights that uh, let's say I'm on a, on Salesforce or LinkedIn and I, I'm on an account, those insights can be pushed there um, to where salespeople already live, uh, right? And I might even get an email uh, a email list of uh, recommendations on accounts I should be working on based on my partnership ecosystem uh, that I've created on Partnered. Awesome, thanks. 
Uh, is the screen coming through for everybody? Yeah, I bet it is. Perfect. So, hey, my name's Nico. I lead up the solutions team here at Partnerstack. Excited to walk you through a little bit of the problems we solve uh, and the, the platform here at Partnerstack. So uh, we're a, a multi-channel uh, tool for all of your different SaaS type of partnerships. And we're also specialized in generating the right commissions for your partners in a transparent and compliant way. We're also a partner network. Uh, that's being used by you know some of the familiar faces in tech here uh, so lots more here on partnerstack.com but let's jump into the product because there's certainly lots to show and not a lot of time to show it so here as a company so you're managing your SaaS uh, partnerships in the past you'd have to work uh, across multiple tools if you're looking to work with multiple uh, types of partners so think your affiliates your referrals your resellers your agencies in Partnerstack, we provide you the tools and go-to-market uh, toolkit uh, to work with all of these partners all in one place. So on Partnerstack, instead of having one partner type, you can create bespoke programs and experiences for each of your different partner types. So for instance, affiliates, resellers, and our app partners are here. And the affiliates I can configure with links and specific offers so that they're incentivized in a way that makes sense for affiliates uh, through their custom referral links. Whereas something like a reseller program, I can easily configure deal registration forms that collect the right information and stages for my partners that then syncs over into my Salesforce or my, you know, any other CRM like a HubSpot through our integrations to keep your uh, sales team and your partners working closely together. Of course, these are the sales tools. We provide you a lot of uh, in-app enablement materials like partner announcements uh, that you can promote new webinars or upcoming changes or pieces of your program, as well as email campaigns, resourcing and co-marketing for all of these different partner types that you'd work with. So agencies need to be uh, enabled through training and more uh, specific co-marketed sales collateral than your affiliates who might just be looking for like an AdWord banner. Let's flip over to the partner side experience. I'll give you a, a shot at what that looks like for partners and how they can actually tap into the network uh, that your program as a SaaS uh, company would be a part of. So here is a partner. We designed their experience to be really transparent and easy to get in and out of. We know partners have day jobs, they have things to do. Um, it's not spending all their time in a partner portal. So we put the most important information up front. We have a challenge here for partners to be aware of a new incentive or, or revenue opportunity for them. Here's that announcements feature that's calling out an upcoming webinar we're hosting or your, sorry, your uh, SaaS partnership program would be hosting. If they're an affiliate, the link is one click away for them to share into their copy. Or if they're an agency or a reseller or top of funnel referral, really easy to click, add a deal information. And then as a partner, I get full transparency into how my deals are progressing in your company's sales cycle. This is all done through our deep integrations uh, to CRMs and billing systems. Once things move to the end of the sales funnel, whether that's an affiliate conversion or a reseller hitting closed one and the contract's done, we actually generate the commissions as per your business rules on Partnerstack. And your finance team can uh, review this. You pay Partnerstack and Partnerstack handles all of the commissions and payouts out to your partners on your behalf. So your finance team doesn't have 100 line items for 100 partners. You have one for Partnerstack and we handle all of the tax and compliance uh, for your business on your behalf. As a partner, that's great because I know uh, the accuracy and what I'm getting paid. I can click into one of these and see the who, what, when, where, and why of each of the commissions I've earned, which one of my sales reps as a partner I need to pay this out to, and when the actual cash flow will come across with our payment date here. So fully transparent, you won't have partners bugging you in your email inbox, where's my commission, et cetera. Another part as a software company hosting your program on Partnerstack is the marketplace. So you're listed among some of the biggest names in software in our marketplace uh, 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 that's in front of our partner network. And uh, this is, these are essentially an advertising opportunity for your program, for our network of partners to find your program, to discover it um, and uh, uh, apply to your program and partner with you. So a huge growth tool. We've got some case studies on partnerstack.com. I'll wrap up there. Certainly lots, to, lots more to cover in Partnerstack. And you can reach out at partnerstack.com uh, to go in a little bit deeper with our uh, with your channel use case. Thanks. Crossstream helps answer the prisoners' dilemma with the, within partnerships. 
So when two companies come together and have to understand, is their sales team talking to the same folks? Do they have any mutual customers in common? Or does either one of them have any relationships that the other one would want? They come to this data stand up for one side or the other has to hand over all of their data so their partner can figure out where the overlaps lie. Nine times out of 10, neither partner actually wants to give up that data. So what Crossroom can do is we can act as a data escrow service that can show the overlaps of prospects, customers, and opportunities while keeping non-data overlapping data private, secure, and anonymous. So for example, what we would do is we would be able to go to our data sources and connect any source of truth that we may have. That could be a CRM solution like a Salesforce or a HubSpot, a big data warehouse like a Snowflake, or even a simple CSV or a Google Sheets option. Now, it's important to understand that you have full control of what data you actually choose to implement within Crossbeam. So for example, here, I can go to my settings here under Salesforce, see all the fields of Salesforce that are already implemented within Crossbeam. But now I can go to all, all fields only right here and see all of my Salesforce fields in totality. So I can selectively choose which of my fields I actually am willing to expose to Crossbeam and which ones I still wanna keep private and secure within our own system. Now, it's important to note here that no data is actually being shared just yet. Our next step is to create what we call populations. And populations are just categories of data that already exist within your source of truth. And we have two types of populations. We have our prospects, open opportunities, and customers, which all fall into our standard populations. And we have our custom populations in our strategic customers, high-valued opportunities, and our European accounts, just to name a few. Now at this point, I can go ahead and connect with my partners and I'm going to be able to connect with as many partners as I would like to, as long as they're on the platform. Now from here, once our partners have taken the same steps that we have in terms of integrating their data and creating populations, I can click into any one of them. So right away, what we're going to see is this matrix view of our populations together. So I have my populations on the y-axis, so my global leads, my prospects, my open opportunities and customers, and my partner's populations on the x-axis. So Bozala's customers, open opportunities, prospects, and leads here. And this is where all of our use cases are gonna really start to come together. So for example, if I was looking to build out an integration, I may look at my 12 mutual customers here and now I can have my product marketing team do some customer inter interviews to understand what our key and top accounts may want from an integration. Or I also have my 48 open opportunities in common with their open opportunities where now our sales teams can come together and do some co-selling there. And then finally, I have my 90 prospects that are customers of my partners Maybe now my marketing team comes up with a very specific marketing campaign that really personalizes the message to those 90 prospects of ours. On a side note, I can go to sharing settings and here's where I can dictate to this particular partner on how they're gonna interact with my data. So for example, if I go down below here to my high valued opportunities, right now, this settings at overlap counts only which means I'm not sharing any raw data. I'm simply sharing the overlap counts that we do share. The other option that I have is to hide this population from this partner altogether. So they're not aware that it exists within Crossbeam. Or I can go over here to sharing data. And now I have a very granular pick list of all the information that I can choose to, uh, up that I've chosen to upload from our Salesforce that I can possibly share with our partner if that overlap does exist. And on the other side of things, I also can see what information am I going to be able to receive from my partner when the overlap exists for, as well. From here, we can go back to our overview tab and I can click into any one of these blue boxes or we can create a report on any one of the populations that we do have with our partners so we can understand the accounts that are actually involved in the overlap. So for example, I can click into one of my selling co-selling reports and now we're seeing all the six open opportunities with Solzer that overlap with our open opportunities at Crowdblossom. From here, we can start to communicate with our partners by either getting notified via email or a Slack channel. And we can start to be proactive with our uh, reps uh, when these overlaps do occur. 
we can start to have some type of communication with our partners by clicking on this threat option here. And I also have the ability to search for any account and see what information is being shared with us. So now as I'm scrolling down, I'm seeing the information that we have from our Salesforce, but also the information that's actually being shared from our partners. And with all this information, we can choose to sync it back with other systems of record. So anything from our CRM solutions like HubSpot and Salesforce, we can have things go back into our sales platforms like Outreach and SalesOps, or we may want to have things go back into other platforms like our marketing automation tools or ABM platforms or our medallions for our customer success teams, or even things like a Snowflake or a Tableau to visualize the data. And that is Crossbeats. Hi, my name is Roman and I'm part of Report Insight. Uh, Partner Insight helps you to accelerate partner growth with automation and be backed by On Deck, which is one of the largest communities uh, in out of San Francisco. Back to product. So if you're a partnership manager, you would log in uh, into your instance and uh, typically in partnerships, everyone is struggling that they have like a visibility here, you have very clear pipeline visualization across all your partners. You can see and tag them in different ways, search them across referral integrations or whatever type of partners that you are having. Uh, you would never get lost because you have whole page <clears throat> which bubbles up what are the things that need attention, such as uh, this partner having been having logged in, this partner uh, been logged in a long time ago, having, having been updated, these deals are delayed, these tasks is missed, but you still see all the sort of date progression in your partnerships here. Uh, going back to the main section, which is partners, each partner has partner hub, which is brings together all the details of partnerships across opportunities, tasks, documents, touch points. Uh, and essentially you can import a bunch of opportunities here. You can do it manually. You can update them here. Uh, and, uh, or you can integrate with Salesforce, HubSpot or whatever CRM you're having uh, and uh, it will sync bi-directionally. Uh, more importantly, this is shareable with your partners. You would press invite and you would say, this is like my partner or in email. You press invite and they will be invited. You will see who you already invited. Uh, and let me show how this partner login will look like. They will receive email notification that you invited them. They will log in into this instance, it's super easy. And they will have the same visibility across opportunities, tasks, documents, and point, touch points that you are having. And uh, they can do everything now. They can import deals, they can update deals. Um, as soon as they do that, you will be notified. And if you share this access to this with your partner, and you update your, this partner hub, you will be notified. So if you drop a document or like a new marketing campaign, you, they will know it's about it like immediately. And, or if they updated a task, which was to do, and they, let's say sort of done it, you will be in the know at the same time. And you can integrate it with Slack and so on. So, you as a partnership manager have visibility across your partners. You can also invite your teammates and you can integrate, like I said, with different products. While your partners will have very nice, clean visibility across everything. It's also activity feed. This means that nothing will be missed because everything is documented here. Uh, and uh, 
and so on. Let me show uh, and you know finish with with onboarding, which is about partner experience. So when you onboard a partner, this is live. Uh, it's just easier to show on the presentation. Um, they will have this onboarding flow. And the same as yourself, if you log in first time, you'll have onboarding flow. Uh, it will guide you in a more gamified manner through the process. It is fun, pleasant, but also it is also intuitive and easy to start. Um, and um, partner will never have a problem to understand what to do, how a product works and all this stuff.